So these scats right here on this log belong to a wood rat. And I had to climb in here to get in here, but this is near a wood rat's nest. And there's a lot of scat on this log. So they will leave large accumulations of scat on logs and branches near their nests. So there are some incisor marks there. This one has been cut off at a very sharp angle. Um, put this behind it so you can see it. Uh, all the way along the log there are scats. And I believe there's another nest over here, but there's a large accumulation of scat all along the top of this huge log here, indicating the wood rat runs up and down this log a lot. And if I wanted to catch this wood rat on a trail camera, I would stick a camera on this log because this is a travel route. The only wood rat in my area is called the dusky footed wood rat, so that's whose scats these are. And uh, fallen logs make a, a little highway for these guys. So they may not even have to get down on the ground to run around. They run around on logs and, and make their way through their territory. The fire that was in here, you see all the burned stuff, was in 2008. And since then, all this has grown up. So right over here is another nest. You can see that conical pile of uh, vegetation um, sticks and things that have been dragged over there and made into a nest by the wood rat. The wood rat nests basically just look like a huge accumulation of sticks. They uh, use these generation after generation, and uh, they will have more than one nest in their territory. So this is the second nest that I've found. I imagine there's a third one, maybe towards the end of that log that I was on, uh, because it looked like all the scats were accumulated going that way. You can see all the branches around it have had their um, the twigs uh, gnawed off them. And that's typical of wood rats because they continuously add to their nest over time. So uh, around here, there will be ample sign, plenty of sticks that have been gnawed off the trees, and and uh, you will find them on the nest. Uh, wood rat nests have been used to do um, like uh, climate studies because what they do is they drag objects into their nest, and seeds and things like that end up in there. So over time, you can track changes in populations of plants by assessing seeds that you find inside of old, old wood rat nests, particularly in the desert. This nest has multiple entrances. Looks like there's one right there. And on the other side, when I showed you the other view, there was another entrance over there. There'll be another entrance down below, probably underneath this log. So they have multiple ways to get in there. And inside they have nest chambers where they uh, line them with material to keep them warm. This sign right here shows where the wood rat was gathering nesting material. You can see these cuts, the angled cuts on the branches where twigs were nibbled off and then hauled over to the nest. That I think is some kind of cambium feeding going on right there because he wasn't really harvesting anything. But this right here was harvested. This one was harvested. These are older but you can still see incisor marks in there and you can see that angled cut that's typical of rodents. So now you can see from the back the other nest through the trees over there that's right in here. You can see this the accumulation of um, branches and things that are piled up there. So there's a convenient log here that the wood rat can run across and get to its secondary nest over there. And there's probably others but this is a really dense forest and I can't see them yet.